In this lecture, we are going to understand what is dependency injection, why do we need dependency injection, and how we can inject a dependency in NestJS. In one of the lectures of this course, we created this user service class. So this is a simple TypeScript class where we are creating some methods. And inside these methods, we are writing some business logic. Now, we want to use this service class inside this users controller. For that, what we did is we created an instance of this user service class inside this users controller class. So as you can see at this line, when the constructor of this user controller will be called at that time we are creating an instance of this user service and we are creating this instance explicitly inside this users class and what this does is this makes this user controller class tightly coupled with user service class and there are a lot of disadvantage when we make a class tightly coupled with another class so this approach here which we are following this is not the best way of creating an instance of this user service class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this line from here. And what I want is I want NestJS to inject an instance of this user service class, which we want to use here inside this user controller class. So NestJS should automatically create an instance of user service and it should inject that instance inside this user controller class so in this class we should not be creating an instance of user service class manually and here for this user controller class this user service class is its dependency right because inside this user controller class we want to use an instance of user service class so this user controller class depends on user service class so this user service is the dependency for this user controller and we want NestJS to inject an instance of that dependency, in this case, this user service class, automatically. We should not be creating an instance of this user service class manually. And this is called as dependency injection. Dependency injection is a software design pattern that involves passing dependencies into an object rather than object creating them itself okay and this promotes loose coupling making the code more modular testable and maintainable so the advantage of dependency injection is it makes code modular it is more testable it is reusable and the code is also maintainable and configurable now how can we ask nestjs to inject an instance of a dependency inside another class let's understand that doing that is very simple the first thing which we need to do is here we have created this user service class and we want nestjs to inject an instance of this user service class inside any other class which needs it so for that the first thing which we need to do is we need to decorate this class with at injectable decorator and to use this at injectable decorator, we also need to import it from nestjs slash common. This will simply tell nestjs that this user service is a provider. That means it can be provided in any other class inside this nestjs application. That simply means that an instance of this user service class can be injected in any other class by nestjs. Okay. The next thing which we need to do is we also need to provide this service from somewhere because in order to inject an instance of this user service the module should be aware about this user service right so let's save this file and we have defined this user service for this users module so let's go to users module.ts and in this users module we are going to provide the user service so that will be the second step for that here we are going to specify the providers array and in that providers array we are going to provide the user service this is the second step okay so we have made this user service injectable so that means this user service can be used as a provider its instance can be injected by nestjs in other classes and we also need to make nestjs aware about this user service so for that we need to provide this service from somewhere and for that 
we are providing that user service from within this users module okay so these two are the changes and the third change is we want nest.js to inject an instance of this user service inside this users controller for that what we are going to do is we are going to use the constructor of this users controller there in the constructor we are going to create a parameter and let me go and let me call it as user service you can name it anything but since i'm already using this user service here so that's why i'm naming it as user service and the most important part is we also need to specify the type of this user service and that is going to be user service okay and in front of this i'm also going to use a private keyword what it will do is it is basically a typescript feature and what it does is behind the scenes it is going to create a private property called user service and that will be assigned with the instance which we are going to receive for this user service parameter okay and in that way this user service property will be available throughout this class so now we don't need to do anything as you can see here we are not creating an instance of this user service explicitly by using new keyword now what will happen is nest.js will inject an instance of this user service class inside this user controller class and it will be assigned to this user service and that we can use inside this class so with this if we save the changes and if we test this users controller for that let's go to postman and here let's go ahead and let's make a get request to this root url slash users if i send the request the request should go through and we should get the response as you can see we are getting the response let's also try to make a post request and there also we are getting the response so everything is working as expected the only change we have done is instead of creating an instance of this user service class explicitly by using new keyword inside this user controller now we are asking nest.js to inject an instance of this user service inside this user controller using dependency injection and in order to make this user service injectable by nest.js we have done two changes the first change is we have decorated this user service with at injectable decorator and we are also providing this user service from the users module using this providers array and in order to tell nest.js that we want an instance of this user service inside this users controller to this constructor we are passing a parameter whose type we are setting to user service all right so in this lecture we talked about dependency injection in brief and we also learned how we can use dependency injection in nest.js now dependency injection can be a little bit confusing for beginners in starting but as you will start using it in your nest.js project it will become more and more clear so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day